All right, everyone, as you've seen, we already have our cooking table set, so we're going to cook or we're going to assemble for today. Welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Today, we're going to dive into the world of crafting creative lunch boxes for kids. Parents, stay tuned or just... And of course, if you're a parent or just someone who loves to see a smile on a child's face, just like me, get ready to unleash your inner artist and elevate the art of lunch packing to a whole new level. All right, sounds like fun. And joining us today to help us do so is Kakochi co-founder and psychologist Natasha Dotulong to reveal more about mm -hmm. crea crafting creative lunch boxes for happy children. Good morning, but thank you for joining Good us morning. in today's program. Thank you, Matasha. Look at what you brought for today. Mm. Actually, I was mentioning today I woke yes. up really early so that I can pack sushi because the kids want sushi for oh. today. But for tomorrow, I'm blanked. So it's good to have you today on board. Okay. So, yeah, so we want to ask, first of all, how important is it to have a, a lunchbox that makes your kids day? Like, mm. you know that that is the one break that they get yeah. during their school days. So it's something they're looking for. How important is it to create something that the kids like? Well, nowadays, lunch boxes are mandatory. Yes, yes not, correct. <laughs> it's not just uh, our children will be very hungry at school, mm -hmm. but it is also a learning experience uh, for them mm -hmm. to eat healthy food. Right. And then um, they will learn to enjoy their food with their friends, together with their friends, and maybe uh, with their teachers also. And then they learn to finish their food. Yes. Sure. Yeah. That would makes mommy happy, right? Indeed. <laughs> still right. struggle sometimes. Sometimes you come home and still half full. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's why we need to um, serve them, and mm -hmm. we need to have um, contribution to prepare something that really uh, makes them feel happy, and then. Um, fun eating their school lunch. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know, back in the days during our generation, whatever our mother cooked, that's probably going to be yeah. what's in our lunchbox. Yeah. But nowadays it's very different. Uh, I remember my. Are you talking about leftovers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the night before. I those days. We got meatloaves. <laughs> By the way, uh, my, t uh, my uh, child's uh, teacher told me mm -hmm. when I pack, you know, special boxes for their or snacks. It's, they're more happier, they are more in a happier mood and they like to show it to their, you know, friends that my mom made this and whatnot, especially if I made the effort to have little kind of characters. Yes. It's not easy, <laughs> by the way, uh, parents, but we try to have at least an effort and you know when you made it by love, your children can also feel it. Does it really impact when we make not only lunch boxes, but make it more a little bit creative for them? Yeah, because something creative, something funny or something fun, it makes them um, feel happy, feel mm -hmm. happy and then they're motivated to eat it. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, and also they really feel that love that you put when you're mm -hmm. making that's right. it. Yeah, makes that's, it unique, yeah. right? It doesn't make it like yeah. the same as what the other kids have as well. Yeah. And I, I love this initiative from all the schools right now in Indonesia, I've noticed have uh, kind of put together a, a plan like you need mm -hmm. to bring a lunchbox mm -hmm. and it has to have certain things like for That's example you right. have to put up some fruit Fruits. you have to have a snack yes and you have to, and it kind of teaches my kids at least about the uh, importance of healthy eating as well it mm -hmm. teaches them about the different food groups that yes. they need to have but again like uh, we don't want them to have the same thing as others we need to get a little bit creative so let's it get creative does. right now okay. you have uh, a bunch of uh, things in front of you you yeah. have two assistants <laughs> with able hands well at least at least one able hand so uh, what are we going to make today? Okay, the, we're going to make rice balls. This is the balls, very ah. easy thing that we, you can do. And yes. you can make a lot of creative things with it. But today we make it special. We're going to make Elmo and oh. maybe Grouchy oh. also okay. from the same street. Can I yeah. start off by showing? So this is, this is exactly what my kid uses. Mm -hmm. It's more or less, she has a few of these as well to get through the week. And this will kind of like divide what you have. Mm -hmm. Like we use one, one little part for the snacks, one for the fruit yeah. and the other for the That's main right. course. But okay, so yes. go ahead, we're gonna make. Yeah, we're going to start with the uh, a box here. Okay. You guys want to help me? Yes, yes please. Okay, this is the box. So, um, we so try we'll to make... use the gloves first? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, for hygienity, we use the yes. gloves. Yes, thank, thank you, Matasha. Okay, we're going yes. to thank you. Uh, make uh, three parts mm -hmm. because the compartment here, there are three compartments. So, yes. we're going to put... <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy these boxes because I, mine is, has more compartments. It's going to be much yeah. more creative than it needs it's to be to done. Kill. You need to think a lot more. Yes. yes. <laughs> what going to put. So, you have to have the idea first. Okay. okay. Um, but don't forget to um, also think about the balance in uh, your child uh, diet. Mm -hmm. so, I guess that's the challenging part, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, you have to make sure that it's still nutritional sound but mm -hmm. you still gotta make it fun. and fun yeah, yeah. that's right 
So they will need some carbo carbohydrate. Yes, indeed. So we're going to use uh, rice okay. mm -hmm. this time, and then um, some kind of protein. You can use eggs. Okay. Um, you can cook boiled eggs really fast, right? right. Yes. So I think this is very easy in the morning. Mm -hmm. Also, maybe some sausages mm -hmm. or anything else that your kids will love it. Yes. And then some vegetables. Um, you can use any vegetables. That's my kids' favorite. And broccoli. also, oh yeah, <laughs> and also the vegetables can be used as um, garnish and some ah, kind of color, fun right? Thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, color. You can get creative with it. Okay. Okay. So now, first, we're going to uh, create some base. Okay. Uh, we use this um, salad. We can put it here. Okay. So this is going to be the base. So the key of um, very. Uh, safe. Um, I mean, when you already make it into a beautiful bento, and then when mm -hmm. the children open it, not look like what the, <laughs> the thing that you make. <laughs> That's because true. it's not yeah. jam packed uh, with the stuff that uh, you're going to put. So we, right. we make sure it's still go, uh, it's uh, jam packed with everything that you're going to put here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So oh, gotcha. uh, we already have the base, and yes. then we're going to make a colorful rice. Okay. So colorful rice going to put some rice here. He can take the rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much do we normally give? Just our regular portion about how they would, how much they would eat normally? Uh, yeah. Oh, my second board would need that. I think there that's goes. enough. Yeah, we can we can make two colors. So okay. we can put two. Cute. Um, so, Matasha, like rice, yeah. so in your opinion, how long should we plan this? Should we plan this during the weekend from Monday to Friday for school days? Or we can actually plan this the night before yeah. for your bento or for your uh, snack box for your children? Um, well, a week before is will be ideal, but uh, a day before is enough because we can just take a look inside our refrigerator at what is available. That's right. Use what you have. Yeah. Well, when I have a, when I have to do the morning show, my wife wakes up with me at 3 a.m. and <laughs> she gets hard at work with my kid's lunchbox. Now, <laughs> kudos to <laughs> Kishi, by the way. <laughs> We're going to put some color. So we want also a healthy coloring uh, to the rice. Okay. So we put, this is a beetroot puree. Okay. okay. It's so easy. You can just steam the beet, uh, the beet, and then you just uh, puree. Blend it, it in, a, yeah. in a, a food processor. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. So what do we uh, just, just mix, mix it up? It. Uh -huh. Really? Just completely? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, if you want to use mm -hmm. some green coloring, you can use this um, spinach puree. Oh. You just blanch it, and then you can um, puree with food processor. Oh, this is cute. This is actually fun. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you can also involve your children in helping you do right. it. Right. It gives them a sense of accomplishment. Then they'll be proud of it when they open it the next day. Yeah. Like, yeah, I helped make that. I would definitely eat this. <laughs> it's very healthy. So, so we're going to take two colorings, right? So it will yeah. be the spinach or and the beet. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to uh, make it into a ball. Right. You don't have to use a fancy bento. Um, tools to, okay. uh, to make this. You can just use some regular plastics like this. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's clean. And then you can take a little bit. Oh, sorry, I already made oh. the pink one for you. Okay. And then we you can, can yeah. use... Oh, okay. Now you can use this mm -hmm. plastic. Maybe have it. And then you can just put it here. Um, children will love to do it this because <laughs> we're going to squish it like this. Aww, make cute. sure uh, it's really um, tight. Tight. Yeah. tight. Yes, because that's how you do it. It's a plastic trick. <laughs> yeah, if you do it with your hands. It's going to fall apart, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's going to stick with your hand, right? right? Nice hack. Okay. Now after this. Oh, cute. It's already done. What? Okay. Elmo. <laughs> Elmo without any <laughs> thing. Okay, Almost. you just put it here. Okay. Oh and you can make uh, more uh, rice bowls if you okay. want to. Okay. Different okay. color. So let me, uh, we can use this, right? Yeah. I'm going to make a... Okay. Uh... You can have mine too. Okay. I have the green. Oh, so cute. So actually you can puree anything. It could be... Carrots. Carrots, butter, yeah. butter, uh, butter butter squash. Yeah, right? that's a great so idea like, uh, for the yellow one. Yes. You can use any color. Oh, uh, and also blue pea flower, flower. Do you know blue pea flower? No, what's um, blue pea flower? Bunga telang, if you oh. really know that. Um, that gives a blue color. I see. So that's for blue. So yeah. anything that's 
originated from either vegetables, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna try to make one of those. Books. Okay. Can I use this plastic? That's okay. okay. Yeah, so is it how you do it, Manasha? You pack it? Yeah, also in the top of it. Oh, yeah. in the top of it too. Okay. Just make sure it's really This packed. looks like so much fun, I have to do it for myself. <laughs> Now you're gonna make this for tomorrow, huh? <laughs> That's gonna like be my wine? one menu item. <laughs> I hope you like rice balls because uh, Daddy's making them again. And also, uh, you can uh, make it into a, a, a lot of variation. You can right. put inside of this rice ball. You mm -hmm. can put maybe some um, eggs or Ooh, okay. anything else. You can put some protein. So right. they will have some surprise when they're eating it. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so we already Very have simple. two here. Okay. Nah. Awesome. Now maybe you can just put some egg, so you can put it like this. Now, this is not look like an Elmo or something, okay, so yet. we're going to make into uh, the face of the Elmo. I can, I use this uh, cheese slices. Okay, okay. So regular yes. cheese slices, Yes, right? you can use um, scissors or maybe um, a straw, a big straw. All right. And then you just push it like that and then you get Stuff like this. Because oh. it's quite hard to find those kind of tools. I mean, yeah. if you've seen on social media, there's a lot of, you know, moms who can make those bentos. <laughs> but we don't have it here, but you have to improvise. Yeah. This is using a straw. Cheese strong. circles. I love this it. This is cheese circle like yeah. this. And then um, yeah. you can use um, carrots for the, for the nose. nose. Oh, like love. This. <laughs> Perfect. And then you can use, you know, this. Uh, yeah. It's a uh, seaweed. Yeah, Correct. it's dory. Okay. The children loves it. Yes. Sorry. So we can use just plain old scissor, and then we can make a half circle like this for the mouth. Oh, so I cute. love how okay. quickly she just did I that. Know. And said it's so easy. <laughs> I will. I will take more time. <laughs> you and can do it. I know. Oh, look at that! It's forming an elbow. Okay. <laughs> we just need some pupils for his eyes, which you've. Yeah. This is small from circle from the nose. Oh, okay. Just put it. In. Oh, like ah, it's, it's Elmo, guys. There you Look go. It that. looks like Elmo. You got Elmo here. So cute. <laughs> this one, the green one, is that um, grouchy. The the, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. the, from the you garbage can. can. That's right. You can make the face a little bit. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um, a little bit character here. Okay. So you can make it. I mean, you can. definitely the kids, when they open their lunchbox and see this, yeah, they're, they're so happy. so much fun. So you, uh, are you going to make, are you putting... Are you making a face on the green one as well? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can make the mouth like okay. the, like this one. Like that? Mm -hmm. okay. So, Grouchy, we can make half circle like this for the eye. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. right. I was wondering why. I was like, are you making a face? I think you're cutting the eyes. <laughs> yes. that, that is more the eyes on Grouchy. That's right. Also, oh, my gosh. The carrot also, you can cut it. Okay. Do you need... Oh. Like this. And this is actually what you can do also with your kids. I mean, if yeah, you're at totally. home, wake them a little bit earlier, they're mm -hmm. going to enjoy it so much when they made their own version of lunch boxes and they'll be so happy and just so confident at school saying, I made my lunch box. Yeah. In the eyes, that is so true. Can make a mouth? A mouth? <laughs> I'll try. Yours, perhaps. Okay. I think it's a little bit bigger. So. so. He never smiles, so. <laughs> Grouchy never smiles. So it's very simple and practical, Batasha, and especially for parents, but it takes us more less than like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But uh, where do you think that we should get our inspiration? Because we want this to keep up going, good, not only for a like a point. day, yeah, right? Yeah, where do you yeah. come up with that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, nowadays, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, okay. yeah. and yeah. even That's a Google true. search. I, I've seen them all the time be, on Instagram mm -hmm. as well. That can be your inspiration. And then, um, yeah, just uh, take take um, ideas from your children. Right. You can ask them, what do you think uh, will be interesting in your lunch boxes? Uh, so you can uh, collaborate together, and then mm -hmm. even if it's not look like what you uh, have planned. Yes. But if they're involved in it, yes, they will feel like this is my lunch right. boxes. I'm right. going to eat it. That's right. And my mom helped me to do it, and or my father helped me to do it. Yes. So. Um, they will be very, very uh, enjoy eating your. And very proud too, right? Yeah, Knowing course. that you're doing this with your parents. Mm -hmm.
taking the time because you know quality time with your kids right. now yeah. is very rare especially mm -hmm. for working parents so this is actually one of the things that you can do an exercise that you can you guys can do at home together yeah, right of course. so we're, we've got we've got the the carbs that the elmo <laughs> yeah. and grout, yeah. uh, the protein, protein with the eggs the, the hard-boiled eggs and you're putting in some sausage as well mini sausages yeah if you want to put some uh, more vegetables you can yeah. put uh, anything oh, yes. that you want anything that you like it's packed with nutrients right there yeah, yeah. That is a, like that is a well-rounded lunch right there so mm -hmm. far but that is the main course on mm -hmm. one side yeah and, and the easiest part so if you want this is already taken effort right mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just want to skip um, anything else do uh, you do creative thing in in this part right so just use fruits because right why not colorful is right? Right? It looks good right yeah, you don't and have to it do tastes much good it. just put some and they do Oranges. need fruits, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Especially in schools, like you said, right? They recommend. So there is a funny story when I was, you know, not taking my time. I was, oh, okay, I should do just chicken nuggets. Yeah. yeah and yeah. fried some Easy fresh stuff. rice. Yeah. I got an email by the teacher. Oh, the, by right? the miss. Yeah, yeah, by the teacher's yeah. like, you need to, you know, give your kids a very nutritious snacks. Yes. The next day, I'm like, okay, let me think about this. Because you just can't fry things. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So there you go. There you go. So I already get it. Time. Look how colorful yes. that is. Yes. Amazing. Is it hard to make? No. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I think I'm going to plan this way ahead before. Yeah. yeah. So then I know what to be like ready in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think preparation is key. For example, yeah, like if true. you've already, you can already prepare mm -hmm. the beet puree yes. Yes. from like a couple days before. You can right? put that in your fridge. So yes. anytime you need it, you already have something like that. There you go. Yeah. So that's uh, that kind of stuff. With fruits, you just need to wash and peel it. Cut. Yes. You can yes. do that on that same day as well. So. I think this is an amazing idea. My daughter would reserve this one little corner for her <laughs> snacks. So yeah, we're only allowed, okay. I have to jam pack all my fruits into one side. <laughs> and then she gets like, you know, biscuits, cookies, or rice cakes, whatever she likes to have. But this is amazing. This would completely fill them up and it would be a lot of fun. And I'm sure they'd be proud to show their friends too. Like, yes. That's what I mean. Indeed. And you know, just one thing though, also we want to announce that uh, Batasha here is also the co-founder at Kekochi. It's yes. basically where you're, you know, the kids mm -hmm. can be little chefs. And so they, they can, can learn all these skills yes. themselves. Yeah. From, from what age? Um, two years old. Two? Yeah. There you go. Goodness. <laughs> I'm thinking my daughter. I know. I'm, I'm rushing her. So what is actually your program? Like, what do you guys do? Yeah, we um, give the children experience okay. to learn to cook and then um, they can make their own like this, lunch mm -hmm. boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, they will have uh, the fun of it when they are creating something. Yes. That's what we really want them, them to uh, have. Yeah. So the fun in making something and also fun in making food. I know. I mean, I had lots of fun doing this <laughs> in yeah. just a couple of minutes. Definitely, they were going to have it fun too. So you have your classes at uh, Pacific Place, is it? Yeah, we okay. have some classes. Uh, well, you can just uh, take a look in our Instagram. Okay. Kekochi. There will be a lot of schedule there. So there you go. Check it out. From two years old, so parents, I'm going to introduce your kids to really being independent. This yeah. Is the way so you can lighten your own workload. I, yeah. <laughs> they can make their own lunches. You just prepare yeah. and then, okay, you, you can, can do just, it yourself. You yeah. can supervise. And then um, take a picture. Mommy wants to see. I'll post it on my social media. You did it. Good job. All right. So we hope we were able to provide you some inspiration <laughs> to have a little bit more fun ways to prepare your kids lunch and perhaps you can do it together with your children not that time consuming not as long as you prepared everything we had before yes. and it's very nutritious and their kids are going to love it what right. more can you ask for i certainly do Tasha, thank, thank you, you very so much, much for coming, for by. coming in fun. i know and uh glad to see that because i'm at the studio till uh this afternoon <laughs> All right. so i have lunch today <laughs> prepared lunch. just for me and it's for paul by the way <laughs> right. anyway we got to take another short break here on the program but in case you joined us late we'll recap some of our earlier stories from around the world when we return this is so